my family and I and a family friend are just um, returning from Quonset Pizza in Waukegan, um, to which we were told to leave the establishment. Um, my daughters and I and my friend went to the bathroom. If you've ever been to Quonset Pizza in Waukegan, you know that the bathroom is very small. There's only one stall. So we were all standing in the, um, the main part of the bathroom when someone pushed on the door and, you know, we were standing there. So the person, the door hit me in my back. So I proceeded to tell the person that we were in the bathroom. She proceeded to say that she works there and she needs to come in. I need, I need to come in and fix my hair. She did not apologize for swinging the door on me. You know, my daughter, my eight-year-old, seven-year-old daughter told me that the, the bathroom stall could not close. I had not been in the bathroom yet. She was the first one um, going in the stall. So I just took her word that the stall didn't close. So the, the, the stall was open and she was using the bathroom, which I was explaining to the lady that my daughter is in the bathroom. She still proceeded to push the door on me to get in, to pin up her hair, um, to go back to work. I then said to her, ma'am, are you going back to work? without washing your hands. She told me that there was hand sanitizer behind the counter which she was gonna use to wash her hands. I also told her that I thought she hit me with the with the door and I thought that was very rude and she needed to apologize. Um, her behavior um, was very disrespectful. So, you know, I came out of the bathroom after she walked out. When I walked out, I saw her telling um, the other people, the other workers, um, about the incident she then walked to the back of the restaurant um i asked someone else that worked there to speak to a supervisor um the lady went behind the, the door you know the doors that go back and forth when she pushed the door she went exactly to the same lady that just pushed the bathroom door on me and um, with a smirk on her face she was laughing saying she asked to speak to a supervisor so the same lady that pushed the door on me came out, said, I'm the supervisor. So I was like, oh, you are the supervisor. So that's why she's laughing. I said, well, is there a manager? She said, no, there's no manager. I'm the supervisor. I'm the manager. So I proceeded to say to her, you know, I thought that was very rude that you pushed the door on me. We're all in the bathroom. My daughter said the door couldn't close. So, you know, you walked in on my daughter using the bathroom. Um, she then told me if I had an issue that I could leave. Then another man approached um, saying that, you know, she didn't push you. He was not in the bathroom with us, so he did not know what happened. And if I had an issue that I could leave also, I proceeded to say then, oh, you guys must have a problem with race, with black people. He said, why well, you're pulling the race card? I said, I, I have no issues with any form of race because my husband is white. My children are biracial children. Um... So upon them telling us to leave, I went to get my husband, who came up to the front now to talk to the man. He proceeded to call me a colored. This is 2014. I have never been called a colored before. So that alone told me that this man is a racist man and the people that work at the, that establishment are racist. Because nobody came to our defense with the whole situation one lady came out of the bathroom and said you know you shouldn't use that word she was the only person in the restaurant none of the other workers nobody else said anything they told us to leave i've never been to a restaurant where there was an issue and a manager or someone didn't come and say i'm sorry how can we fix it they were like leave and the fact that i was color colored in 2014 so you know i i want to to put this video out there that you know i believe that the people at quonsets that work at quonset are, are in charge of quonsets um pizza in waukegan are racist it is 2014 nobody wants to be called a colored person we you know black people go from being calling niggas to be calling colored and then we were asked we asked to be called blacks or african-american none of us want to be called colored and he proceeded to say when i said colored sir Nobody used the term colored anymore. He said, well, I'm trying to be polite. If you were trying to be polite, you use the word African-American. That is the politically correct term. So I guess being polite is not calling me a nigger then. I am, I'm truly very upset that in this day and age, my children had to be exposed to that. 
and I want to put this out there and I hope you guys like and share this video and if you live here in, in if you live in Zion if you live in Waukegan if you live in Winter in Winter Harbor or in Beach Park and if you are any former person black white Hispanic whatever you are that you would not visit that establishment that is clearly racist when somebody is using the term colored in 2014 I, I just cannot believe it even to this moment and that Someone is going to come into the bathroom, whether they mess with the hair and then they go in the bathroom stall and going to tell you that they're going to use the hand sanitizer to wash their hands and that they have soap and water in uh, uh, behind the counter in bottles, in hand sanitizer bottles. So then the food that they're giving you isn't even clean.